this is what we essentially um, recommended the council adopt. Um, I, I think if they're not in the packet, but Michelle's been trying to get them in, as CRC knows, these in various forms have been reviewed by uh, the town attorney. Um, the latest clean version is currently technically under review, I believe, in the emails I've seen um, for to, to formally get, um, I think it's Joel Bard that's been doing it at KP Law to get him to write the email that says clear, consistent, and actionable. Um, I'm not sure we've received that email yet. Michelle would know better, but she's not here. Um, but I sent him when he asked what that meant, I basically sent him the GOL guidance on what a clear, consistent, and actionable review is. Um, and that basically what GOL seeks from KP law review is that it's not in conflict with any state law. That, um, that that's, that's what we kind of want KP law to say. And if it is in conflict to tell us what the risks are and, and things like that. Um, given that KP law has reviewed this on multiple occasions, I. I cannot imagine them coming back saying, oh, now it's in conflict, you know, um, in, in that sense. Um, but we always like to have that email for the council. Um, but yeah, I mean, you guys mostly have all seen it. So it's eight pages long. Um, but. Okay, so just uh, if I have a question. Um, so we can still go ahead and vote on this. And if there's anything else that comes back from KP Law, what would happen? Would it come back again to GOL? Yeah, so what I would recommend is that we vote on this. And that's, that's as chair of CRC, um, I'm, I'm looking at a couple of things. Um, the zoning bylaw needs acted on by the council by June 13th. Um, in order for the council not to have to hold another public hearing um, based on when meetings are, although I guess if there is a meeting on June 27th, we could vote at that meeting. But when I made that timeline, that June 27th meeting was unknown whether it would happen. And I still don't know whether it will truly happen. So the 13th is sort of the last formally scheduled meeting right now before the 90 day deadline. And as we all know, when we were de declaring the rescission actionable at GOL, um, this is the second part to that. Um, if we rescind a zoning, we kind of want the general in place at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so the easiest way to do that is to vote on both at the same meeting. The motions are a lot clearer, they become then effective the same days. Um, because they were voted on at the same meetings. So in order to do that, we would need that declaration done today um, because the bylaw needs to be posted on the bulletin board 14 days before a vote. And since the vote would be tentatively scheduled for June 13th, 14 days is the 30th, which is a holiday. So that moves it to the 27th in a sense. Um, in terms of Athena posting without having to work on a holiday, is what I would say, 14 <laughs> days. The charter of 14 days is still technically Memorial Day, um, the holiday, but no one works on the holiday. And so we want Athena to be able to post it before the weekend. Um, and so, you know, that would mean we declare it today, it can be posted and it can be acted then if for some reason KP law and the first reading would be June 6th. If for some reason KP law comes back and says, you know, Changes. What can happen is that the June 8th meeting, GOL could look at those changes and just make a recommendation to go to the June 13th meeting for voting. And so that's been done multiple times on multiple occasions for bylaws, for policies, for things where after the first reading, things come up and a committee relooks at it and says, hey, let's let's make this recommendation for the final vote. Um, and so, you know, if that happens with KP law, I think given that KP Law's already seen this multiple times, we just don't have the formal email. I, I think it's it's fine for us to go forward as GOL to make that declaration today. Um, and then if something surprising comes through, 
um, we, we can deal with it on the 8th after the first reading would be my would be as a CRC chair who really doesn't who wants easy motions and doesn't want to hold another public hearing. That's my goal. <laughs> Um, I have an alternative yeah. reason for this. <laughs> thank you, and, and thank all of you for your work on this. Were there, uh, Pat and Jennifer, did you have anything else to add? No. No? Okay. All right. Could we have a motion to declare the preservation of historically significant buildings clear, consistent, and actionable? So moved. <laughs> Second. Okay. All right. Mandy. Aye. Jennifer. Aye. Pat. Aye. And I'm an aye. Okay, we're moving. Okay. All right, so we decided that we will wait uh, for the equity lens review process for Michelle to be able to join us. So with that, I do not believe that we have anyone in the audience for public comment today. Um, okay, no, we don't. All right, we're there and oh, okay. So has everyone had a chance to look at the uh, minutes from May 11th? I wasn't at that meeting, but you know, they look fine to me. Look like quite a meeting. All right, yeah. Oh, before we go on, um, interview dates for finance oh, right. committee. I know you were talking, Anika, about that. Um, Anika, can you explain what you've run into with the potential for the 22nd? Absolutely, so we have uh, one of the applicants is not available um, at any point during the um, 22nd. And um, you know, had questioned if there was another way to participate. Um, I would imagine just by answering the questions and submitting them. So I explained that they had to be live and together. Um, so we're going to see. I'm going to send another message now to see if this applicant is available um, the morning of June 8th. Um, and I will do that right after we end this meeting and report back ASAP. So I, I guess my question is, if that applicant is not available June 8th, should we have some other, and, and, and you obviously have to check with both applicants, um, right. but should we as a committee discuss whether, I, I don't know whether the one applicant that's not available just has a conflict on Wednesdays in general. Um, it sounded know. as if it was just that, that one morning okay. um, and very, you know, project willing to be flexible. It was just, seems like it was just that morning that there's a fixed schedule. Yeah, so I guess I was wondering, should we as a committee discuss some potential alternate dates that aren't either of our scheduled GOL meetings just in case either of them are not available on the 8th to move forward? Great idea. And, and I say that because um, with the 8th, just, just so the committee knows what's going on, if we set the interviews for the 8th, the statements of interest need posted by next Wednesday, one week from today, if we're still so, so they haven't been told when they have to submit their statements of interest yet. Um, and so the longer it takes for Anika to figure out that both applicants are available on the 8th, the less time they will have. I will finalize these documents that we just um, voted today and get them to Anika for distribution to the applicants today. Um, um, it might be wise, Anika, to when you email both applicants today, at least tell them to get their statements of interest in by this coming Monday. It's a holiday weekend. This is my concern, though, with a June 8th interview date is if they need posted on Wednesday, June 1st, before 9 a.m., Anika in organizing them basically has to have them on Memorial Day or the 31st at 9 a.m. in order to give Athena time to post. Um, given that that's six days away, that's not a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, if maybe when you email them today, you give them all of the information regarding statements of interest and how long they can be in all, um, 
they might be able to be working on them and get them in in time anyway for that to happen as we still set an interview date but it might be good for us to know whether we could pop to the 15th of june or some other date so that you have some backup dates anika okay so so the request would be for the eighth and so eighth or 15th preferably the eighth for the interview Are, is everyone available on the 15th in the morning? It's it's a Wednesday. It's just not a scheduled meeting day. Right now I am. Maybe just have to check. I'm muted. I am. Okay. In the event uh, Michelle was not available, would we all have to be present or would we be able to proceed? So the goal is always that everyone be present because it's always helpful to have all committee members weigh in. Mm -hmm. um, CRC has done it before with four or five members. Um, it's just not liked, if that makes sense. All right, so I'll, I'll contact Michelle as well, everyone at the same time. Thanks for that. I will, Anika, right after this meeting, send you the adopted questions, the adopted selection guidance um, and all, and then um, a draft email, just showing you how I send the email out regarding the statements of interest. Okay, thank you so questions. much. Thank you. To help thank you through that. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so with that, we do we have a motion to adopt the minutes from May 11th? Also so move. <laughs> I think that was a move in a second. <laughs> I mean, it gets to pick who did what. <laughs> okay, Jennifer. Aye. Pat. Aye. Nandy. Aye. I'm an aye again, unanimous. We're moving right along. Uh, were there any announcements to be made? I just want to say thanks for running the meeting, Anika. I yeah. Think Michelle's going to be oh, jealous really. that she missed a short meeting. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> she was going to try and tune in and we'll be off. Yes. I know. I think it's great. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank, thank you all for supporting yeah. me. And thank so, you. Tight yes. ship. <laughs> yeah, I, I think with that, our, our next agenda preview, I... I think that we're okay there. Were there any questions, suggestions around that? I think it's just what interviews and then equity lens at this point, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait. And the deceptive advertising potential. Right. Oh, that's right. 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 Mm -hmm. That will be on. Okay. All right, everyone. So, okay. Thank you. Faces and enjoy the rest of your day. You Take too. Care. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank bye bye. You. Bye bye. Bye.